Hello and welcome to Lefitia Productions, I'm Hafiz and today I'll be fixing Virtual Fighter 1 running on your new operating system. Now there is a bad news and there is a good news. The bad news is, alright let's start off with the bad news. You need the original CD-ROM, okay hold on, to have music in game, to have the in-game music. Or you need a Sega Saturn CD-ROM to have the in-game music. Aside from that you can still launch the game without the CD. Alright, but you won't have any music. If you want the music, please pop in your original disc. Alright, and the good news is, so that's the bad news, okay? The good news is, it's gonna run perfectly on new operating system on 64-bit OS with newer hardware. I'm currently running the game on GDX 780 Ti with a new i7, not really that new, but it's an i7 2600K processor on Windows 8.1 64-bit. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, make sure that you don't have any previous Virtual Fighter 1 installed on your computer. If you have, please remove it from your program and features. That's step number one. If you don't have it, just skip to step number two. Next, you're going to download the link that I give in the description below, which will link up to my OneDrive account, and you will download a 55 megabyte setup file, which is something like this, VF1 setup. So just place it on your desktop. What you need to do now is just to create a temporary folder you don't have to rename it you know just new folder will do and open up the file that you just download and extract all the contents to the temporary folder alright so once you have that done just run the setup and this is a new installer that I made to make sure that the game run on a 64-bit OS without issue and install all the necessary files for you to play the game okay just click on next and just click whatever and the default directory will be on under your program files x86 sega virtual fighter just click on next and install do you wish to install adobe acrobat no direct x no i'm sure windows 8.1 already have that all right once the installation is done you can simply go to your um, program files x86 sega virtual fighter and look for pcvf something like that let me see um yeah, yeah pcvf1 so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna start the game all right, so here we go. Okay, now there are a few things you need to take note of while you are in the game. All right, um, first of all, in this menu, you cannot change any of the graphics options or even your keyboard setting. There's no way. All right, so just go to the option to change whatever gameplay options. That you can change, but not anything else. Once you have done that, go to the arcade or versus whichever that you want to play and start the game. Once you are in here, press F5 to change your keyboard. This is where you can change your keyboard setting, okay? Once you have configured accordingly, press F6 if you want to change the graphic settings. Bear in mind, there is something that you cannot and don't ever change, which is the first one, resolution. By default, it's already high. I've set it to high. So if you change it, the game will crash. So white color means it's that is the option that you choose okay and blue color means that is not the option that you choose so as you can see the resolution is really highlighted in white meaning that the by default is really high so for model texture I'm sure you guys know um, virtual fighter PC comes with two model as you can see this is the original one if you go to on it will render the virtual fighter 2 model texture and if you go to off the original virtual fighter 1 detail keep it to off make the um, make the image cleaner stage texture of course you turn it on and under motion change it to smooth by default it's already smooth so that's okay so press f6 again and you can start playing virtual fighter again if you want the sound i'm sorry if you want the music pop in the disc or the sega say the disc will do and you will get the music automatically to exit the game press f alternate f4 and you will go back to windows and done that is how you fix virtual fighter one actually there's no fix you know just download run the setup pop it the disc and boom i've already fixed it for you so thank you once again for checking out the fisher productions